G'day guys, Fish of Australia here today. I'm on very far west, beautiful Lake McIntosh. And um, it's currently Friday, Friday, late Friday Arvo. Um, I'm down here for the whole weekend, um, Western Lakes, just fishing what lakes I want around Tulla. Um, and yeah, I got here with about an hour's daylight to spare. So I've just quickly jumped in the tinny um, and yeah, I'm just gonna have a quick throw about in your clothes. But apart from that, um, well yeah, welcome to a bit of a bit of a weekend away and hopefully we can get onto some nice trout. But anyway, I'll leave you guys to it and get casting and I'll see you guys when we're on. Yo. G'day guys, Fishing Australia here. This video is proudly sponsored by Tamer Marine Lawn Cessna. Tamer Marine Lawn Cessna have a huge range of fishing gear, boating needs, and everything you need to get out and back on the water safely. So when you're in Lawn Cessna next, come into Tamer Marine Lawn Cessna and buy something from them so they can continue to support me to make videos like this one. Hope you guys enjoy this Fishing Australia video, and I'll see you guys at the end. Yeah. No way we've done it. No way we've done it. <laughs> Western Lakes, baby. How good is that? I've come out for an hour. Not even that. I've been out. I got here at 5.15. <laughs> it's 5.30. I've fished for 15 minutes. And I've already come and caught myself a beautiful brown trout that's just perfect brown like western lakes brown trout color righto guys with a nice photo take the fish and shale lure out of its mouth how good is that welcome to <laughs> welcome to lake mcintosh baby How good is that on my board? How good is Tasmania though? Like, have a look at that. What a place. You could not be happier. Getting rained on out here at Tulla. The whole lake to yourself. Hole 31. I'm pretty sure, like, McIntosh is 31. Kilometers squared in volume. I'll confirm that here or not um, from my research I did before. And I've got all of that to myself. Just me and the trout. How good. Well, <coughs> I'm just chilling in my stove now. It's like eight o'clock and I'm a little buggered. So I was gonna go to sleep. And um, I just heard a pan move, like it's some metal move outside. And I like crapped myself, got up, ran outside because I thought rather A, the anchor had moved and someone was trying to steal the bow. Well, B, the anchor had moved and like, it was going out, but I just left the pan outside and the kangaroo just decided to jump on it and like try and eat it and push, a pe push the pan off the stove top. So that's a nice little scare for you. Friday night, but I'm going to hit the sack and I'll see you guys in the morning. gonna take this one because this was the one that I caught my fish on yesterday
Day two, let's get to it. Ah, bugger. Oh, ho, ho, yes, buddy. That's a good fish. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Well, guys, I don't know what footage I got of it. Um, pretty much, I'm gonna have to change the style of my videos. I'm going to have to press record when I hook up because I've forgotten the GoPro charger and I can't charge it with the GoPro on my head. So we're just gonna have to run with that. But we've opened the account this morning with a beautiful Lake McIntosh Brown. How good is that on the Golden Trout Fish and Shay Minnow? Absolutely whacked it. How good is that? Grab some photos and we'll chuck him back. Uh, I've had a bit of a rough start this morning. I've dropped two, had a lot of water in the boat, had to build her out, but Seeing that fish, just all worth it. <laughs> Righto guys, let's get this guy back in the water. Pull out, fish and show him, you know. Beautiful trout. Just like that, he's off. How good is that, guys? Lake McIntosh, what a sight to see. wet me hands because I will release this brownie just a little one that came along and whacked it right at the boat so these west coast trout their colors are like nothing else you'll find in Tassie they're super dark and I'll get some water on my hand and they're quite like that dark. Just that beautiful dark bottom on these fish. Such a beautiful fish, I think. So another one on that golden, golden drought. Color brownies love it. I love the golden trout. What a beautiful fish. Anyway, without doubt, we'll get him back in the water. Well guys, um, my first run at McIntosh, um, pretty good, I dropped 
and saw about three, four, caught two this morning. Um, but yeah, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do now, whether I'm going to keep on going up Lake McIntosh or go somewhere else. I reckon I'm going to go up McIntosh a bit more because I've never fished McIntosh apart from the area I've fished already. Um, like, and that was last year. Yeah, last year. Um, and the water was a lot higher, so it's a lot lower, so there's less water, but yeah. I reckon I'm gonna go up, upstream, oh, well not upstream, but up the lake a bit more. So, let's get to it and let's get some fish. Pretty sure this is going to be goodbye to Lake McIntosh. Um, I reckon I'll fish Ro Lake Rosebury for a bit and then maybe make my way somewhere else um, to stay the night. But the man that did the work, fishing straight up, we know 50 millimeter one, in gun trout. Um, so they're available online, fishingstraya.com or a Tama Marine and they have just been put in stock at the fisherman's shed down in Hobart so if you're from Hobart and you want to get onto some fish and show your lures you don't have to buy postage now you've just got to go into the fisherman's shed so that works good for you guys down there um, but yeah um ripping back in I don't know if I mentioned my transducer the silicon fell off it so I'm gonna to have to redo that one up yeah but I've had an issue with my battery. So one of my batteries has um, carked it, I'm pretty sure. So um, I've taken the battery from the back, which has all my sounders, and put that in the front, so that can have me electric, because obviously I want the motor guide more than a sounder. But um, that means I can't use my build pump or my sounders at the moment, so that doesn't really. That doesn't really bother me. Um, but yeah, first lake done. I'm gonna sit down then need a drink and make a move. Yo. Well guys, we're on Lake Rosebury now. How good? Is the Western Lakes like? I oh, will not. How good it is Western Tasmania? Like up at the direction the wind was going up at Lake McIntosh was horrible. So I thought, screw it, I'm gonna go to Lake Rosebury, which is like a 10-minute drive if that. But since Lake McIntosh, obviously Lake McIntosh feeds into Lake Rosebury, so it's in a completely different valley, pretty well much. Lake Rosebury is pretty much just flat as. So, I'm gonna take advantage of it and I'm gonna hopefully catch a trout out of Lake Rosebury. But anyway, I'm gonna get to it. So, I'll get cast and I'll see you guys when we're on. Yep. <laughs> that oh, lucky 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 that did not take long um so if you guys watched my last video fishing at 
Ooh. My last video fishing at Tulla. How good's that? Another one on the fish and shayer. Golden trout. That's four fish. I'll just quickly wet my hands. He is a dark trout. Um, me and Connor came into this little cove and we caught three fish, like just in this little cove where the whole other place we sort of struggled to get bites. I thought, screw it, I'm gonna stop in here before I go up river and it's produced well. Like, nothing to brag about. But, but another, another lake ticked off. Another, yeah, another lake ticked off that we caught a trout off. How beautiful is that trout though? Such dark colors. That's just your perfect example of one of these western trouts, just pure dark because all the water they live in has zero water clarity because it just rains so often that is beautiful I'm gonna get a photo of this guy and then I'm gonna get him back He's off. Oh, how good. Well, guys, um, hey, Rosemary. Well, it was a success. I caught one fish. But I don't know I'm just not I'm just not frothing it at the moment. Like um um Lake Rosebury's all pretty deep, weedy um places where you, where you're fishing soft plastics all the time. I'm sorta of would rather fish hard bodies. Um I'm gonna go to a lake that I've never fished before and the only fish in there is a fish that I've never caught before and see if I can tick both of them off the list. So I'm going down to Lake Flimsol. Um, we've got Brooks out in there. See how I go. See how I go. Um, so I'm gonna kick it back and um, get moving. Such a beautiful fish. <laughs> I've been wanting to catch one of these fish for so long, you guys don't understand. And it's tiny, but I don't care. I've caught a brook trout, finally. Oh, and on no other color, no other lure than the fish and stray minnow. <laughs> <laughs> you beauty! Right. Let's get in the gear. I could not be any happier with a small fish. I have to hold it so much. It's not much. But it's the species that is the, the triumph. What a cool looking fish. What a beautiful fish. So, that Lake Plimsoll. Oh, 
off he kicks. <laughs> you beauty. That is the Fish and Australia Lures Triathlon complete for me. Brook trout, rainbow trout, and brown trout. Obviously not all in the same day, but um, all three species have been caught on the Fish and Australia Lures. <laughs> Chrome red. Uh, I, I, I picked it because it's the only Fish and Australia Lure that really has a bit of green on it. Um, the rest is history. I'm just gonna, I literally, the boat ramp's just up there. I just did a big loop and then I was gonna go. I was about to lose interest, hadn't had a hit, but we did it. Let's go. Woohoo! Well guys, I end up filming an outro, but I was sort of saying how I was going to go camp somewhere else for that night. I ended up just going home after the Western Lakes because there was a severe weather warning. But um, yeah, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. And most importantly, I'll see you guys in the next Fish and Show video. Have a good one.